Hi, my name is Barb Malera. I'm a member of the team at Harvesting History. Harvesting History is an American company that specializes in heirloom variety seeds, roots and sets, flower bulbs, and other plant material. Today we're going to be talking about midsummer planting of beets. Now, the nice thing about midsummer planting is that you get a late fall harvest and you can enjoy your vegetables long into the winter. The important thing to remember about midsummer planting is unlike in the spring when the days are getting longer, in midsummer the days are getting shorter. So the important rule of thumb to remember is add 14 days to the time to maturity of any seed that you plant midsummer. For example, these beautiful Detroit dark red beets, Detroit dark red beets. These beets are, will take 55 days when the seed is planted in the spring in order to reach maturity. In the fall, these beets are going to take 69 days. Now 69 days is about 10 days longer than two months. So beets planted in July or August are not going to be harvestable until either late September, October, or November. Just remember that. <clears throat> the other thing to remember and be concerned about is when the frost state is in your specific region. The good news about beets is they only get better with frost. The more frost these beets are subjected to, the sweeter they are going to get. So you want to leave them in the ground as long as you can so that exposure to the frost will sweeten them up. If you live in places in zone 8, 9, or 10, so that's the southeastern part of the United States and California, one thing you can do to help the sweetness of beets since you don't see many frosts is to add lime to the soil as you are planting the seed. So the thing to remember is that beets are going to take a little over two months in order to reach maturity in the fall. The beets that we would recommend that you choose for fall planting are these Detroit dark red. There's also a golden variety, Detroit golden, and those tend to be slightly sweeter than the Detroit dark reds. And if you're into beet greens, the variety you should choose for fall planting is Lutz's, that's L-U-T-Z, apostrophe S, Lutz's green leaf. All of these varieties do very well when planted in midsummer. You have to remember with beets to be very aggressive with your thinning. I'm going to repeat this again because I know you won't listen to me. You have to be very aggressive with your thinning. There should be a good three to four inches between each beet plant. And if you don't like to murder the little seedlings that you are pulling out, then take and use them as sprouts on a salad. They make a great condiment to a salad. So a little news about a little history about Detroit dark red beets. It is the oldest and most popular commercially cultivated beet we have today. It was introduced in 1892, and we believe it was the product of some French beet development work, and that its parent was a French beet. But for the last over a hundred years, this beet has been a part of American culinary habits and is today the most beloved beet that we have in the United States. So give your beets a chance, plant some now. I encourage you to go to our website, www.harvesting-history.com. We have a great selection of beets from which to choose from. But remember, whatever the maturity time is, add 14 days to that maturity time. And good luck growing beets this summer and fall.